Well, that, that's my final question, is um, you have pledged to ease cost of living pressures on Victorian families. How exactly do you plan to do that? Well, we ex we've extended the concessions for uh, electricity to 12 months of the year, and indeed we've brought it forward from our original commitment. And that's a substantial commitment. We will be uh, halving ambulance subscriptions. We don't want families in times of stress to be uh, dropping their ambulance subscriptions. That will occur. We have uh, stamp duty uh, concessions for first home buyers, which will commence after the 1st July and roll out over the next four years. Uh, we uh, have already reduced uh, uh, TAFE course fees for 15 to 24 year olds, particularly in the country of Victoria. Uh, we are focused on that agenda. But I do say that we do have all of these challenges imposed upon us now with the black holes from our predecessors, with the um, substantial GST uh, withdrawal from the Commonwealth uh, and some big project blowouts like uh, Mikey and the diesel and others. All of which means probably that we're all going to have to pedal harder, find new, new enterprises perhaps? We have to find new enterprises, protect the ones we have in the mm. sense of not allowing them to arrive mm. and we have to be more creative and we have to generate that skill space and I don't want to just be ticking the boxes, mm. we actually have to reskill our community in many ways. It's going to take a little time, but this is probably one of the biggest challenges Victoria has faced for a very long time.